tonight you mean. Tonight, sorry. It's a package maybe with some sweeter chocolate and it also has some shampoo. shampoo. Two kinds. Two kinds. Yeah. It's yeah. shampoo and hair conditioner. Where's it coming from? From my Akka. From your Akka. Akka. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, did you receive your package? <laughs> oh, I think it's she's lost her words. I can't it. <laughs> <laughs> she's so Good morning from Kochang Mangrove Forest and today we are on a full day exciting island adventure here in Kochang. We decided to get up early this morning. We drove all the way around the edge of the island from where we were. This is actually not that far from where we're staying but we had to drive do almost a full 360 to get around here because you can't access it the other way. So we're starting at the furthest point today here at Kochang Mangrove Forest and then we're making our way back slowly to our accommodation where we're staying at Tranquility Bay Residence and stopping along the way at hopefully some awesome beaches, some viewpoints, some temples, and of course, we have to eat some amazing food as well. So join us, welcome to the mangroves. Ina, does this remind you of walking to Crab Shack in the town? Yeah. Or Tamil Kenya, right? Yeah, very similar. I was gonna say better, but I don't know yet. Let's go and see. <laughs> so those of you that have been watching our vlogs for a while, you will know that we actually lived in Kenya for two years and there was a cool little sunset spot and restaurant in Watamu, the area that we lived, called Crab Shack, which is set amongst the mangroves. And this little walkway here reminds me of walking to the restaurant. So far, it's pretty cool. Right, so we made it to the end of the mangrove walk. It's about 10 to 15 minutes walk through the mangroves, which is very nice. And we made it here and we have this beautiful view. It's a little bit moody still. And by the way, we have a guest joining us today. This is Ina's mom, who has flown over from the UK to spend a week with us exploring Koh Chang and eventually Bangkok. So we're gonna do some fun things with her as well. So stay tuned for those vlogs. Over there, you can see the Sea Gypsy Village. Are we going there today, Ina? Everywhere. We're going everywhere. Can we talk about where we are right now and what yeah. the plan is. Yeah. Yeah. So, so let's, that's, let's that's see what the day brings. Over there is pretty much the furthest point that you can drive. So we're going to go there next. Let's go check it out. Yeah. This is where we parked, and then we followed this line up here all the way around, and then that's where we are now. Happy breakfast! There's nothing better than Happy a boiled breakfast. egg and a banana for breakfast. I would disagree, but you know, when on adventures, we must do adventurous things. Exactly. Like eating warm eggs out of the back of a car. Hey, they're still cold. This fish here. All right, we have come to the fisherman village. We don't know where we're going. Everything is written in Thai. You know what this sign says behind me? Please comment down below to let us know exactly so what this sign said. Something is this way 20 meters. But we're surrounded by the fisherman village, so we decided to park up, get out of the car, and just wander around and hope that we're not trespassing on somebody's property. Okay, so we have reached a gate that is closed. The sign does not say you can't go in. It says proceed with caution. Well, where so are we going? we're looking for Wai Chek Beach, which shows as being up the mountain and kind of around the corner. It looks, <laughs> the most popular beaches, yeah, but it looks, it looks really very beautiful. beautiful. Obviously, we're not in a 4x4 four four or anything like that, so I'm going to have a look at the road as we go. If it looks dodgy, I'm not going to go. But the sign says it's fine. There it is. It's here, Wai Chek. 
Yeah, there's nothing. Adam's gonna lift his own barriers. There's nothing that says we can't go inside. Otherwise, I definitely wouldn't. But and just film that for legal purposes. <laughs> it, it says, says proceed. Road damage. Proceed with caution. Do not enter from 5 p.m. till 6 a.m. No walking. Seems pretty fine. <laughs> Padlocked. We're not going anywhere anyway. Anyway, I've got slippers on and board shorts. I'm not hiking anywhere. All right, see you in 45 minutes. On to the next place, I guess. <laughs> All right, we have come to Oi's little farm and bakery, which apparently is 300 meters up this hill. But we're a bit confused because the sign is here and then underneath it says, sorry, closed. Online it says it's open. We're here now. <laughs> so we're gonna go and explore. This might be the next fail of the day, uh, but we want cake. So the reason we're actually going here is because we noticed lately that if you actually zoom in on the map of the area that you're trying to explore and you're clicking away and looking at pictures and reviews and stuff, you can actually find some really hidden gems that you wouldn't be able to find online in blogs or blogs or things like that. So yeah, this is what you should definitely do. Just zoom in, scroll around a little bit in your free time and you might find a gem. Right, so we actually came if you go up the stairs there's a little viewpoint that you can see the sea and mom just mentioned that this may be her first time in a hammock you look like you're really enjoying it i do <laughs> i've always been worrying if this hammock will, will be able you. to hold me <laughs> so it looks like yes that's made for me leave me here okay all right we'll let you home. relax but this is the view so beautiful at this end of that. Tráigame la canela Tráigame, tráigame la canela You have to try all of them and tell us which one is your favorite, yeah? I think it's going to be chocolate. You think so? Okay. This is going to be my favorite. So they were close today, right? But <laughs> We managed to get in. They opened for us. You have to make sure that So the sign was real. Line. They were closed. And how's that? Really good. You want to try? Yeah. Mm. So nice. Well, I must have good. My intention was not to consume sugar today. We've just consumed three cakes, but three cakes between no, four people. No, we just we share, we share them, which is it's a very nice little cute it's cafe. Definitely window. worth coming here, absolutely. If you're doing a bit of a tour of the island, you come basically drive as far as you can around the edge of the island. So you get to- Especially at the end of the road, isn't it? Oys, A-O-Y-S, Oys, I think it is. It's a bakery, restaurant, juice bar, coffee shop. They have like Italian coffee that they cook in the little mockers on the stove. Like really worth it, definitely worth it. I could hang out here for a couple of hours. They have a hammock, it's perfect. Yeah, so worth it. Now, we also found out about the Wycheck Beach. Basically, usually there is somebody to let you in, but they will only let you go there up that road if you have a 4x4 and it has to be a good 4x4 because the road is completely crumbling so even if the gate was open we wouldn't have made it or with a long tail boat that you can get from this area I think it would be the most straight, straightforward it's because the we simplest. have a long day ahead of us we don't we can't we're waste gonna miss time. it yeah so we're gonna have to continue going but we just wanted to mention how much the car was yeah so the car that the we've higher. rented today cost us 1200 baht which in dollars we'll write that at the bottom of the I think screen it's about as well. 35 dollars something like that 40 pounds 30 dollars 30 something i'm gonna guess 32 but our editor's gonna write it in the bottom there and we'll see who's right Should we keep going? <laughs> let's go all right on our way to long beach which from what i can see is the furthest southerly point of the island and we just came past the viewpoint so we thought we'd come and have a little look from what we can see there's like four or five or six islands out here and fun fact for you do you know there's over 50 islands just in this little cluster off the coast here uh, many of which are completely uninhabited. But I think we should pack some tents and just go and visit them all, what do you think? Yeah. Definitely. Some of them are actually private islands, so we might have a problem there. All right, so the official access to Long Beach is closed. Didn't know they could do that. It's only open in the high season, so I'd imagine it's just closed. So we drove a bit further up and we spoke to some ladies on a fruit stall who told us that you can still get down to the beach. There's a small dirt road 
which is the one we're walking on now. It's opposite small resort, I think it's called Tantanam Resort. When you get there, opposite there, it's this dirt track through the jungle. And apparently you can get there. We're gonna see if we can. Alright, so as you would have seen from the drone footage, it's an absolutely beautiful beach here, Long Beach. Like, so stunning. But the problem is, I don't know if you can see behind me, there is so much trash. I think because of where it is and everything's getting washed up from the ocean and there's not, there's one resort all the way at the end which is closed right now I think for the low season. I, I don't know whether they're usually open or not. But basically not many people come here. There are no resorts to keep this beach clean. I mean look. Just trash all around. And I don't know whether this translates through the lens or not but it's it's really really bad. There's it's something you should be prepared for when you come here. It's a shame because it is really, really beautiful beaches. This was probably one of the most beautiful beaches on the island at some point, but yeah, what can I say? This is becoming more and more common now in the world. Coconut, uh, Ronnie's Organic Coconut I Garden. On the main road, right? Back. Yeah, we're, we're on the main road heading. The, the main road heading back up the east coast of the island, and it's half one. So we're ready for some lunch. We're very, very hungry. So, Ronnie's looked good. Let's go and see what Ronnie's got to say. All right, so when we were ordering, he was like, you want to try my papaya salad? It's the best papaya salad. So he's like, you should get one to share for the table. So we got a papaya salad. It and it it's a non-spicy non papaya it's salad. So it's a, it's a farang papaya, papaya salad. Oh, okay. A little bit of chili. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. Let's, so, let's, go so let's far. sample this bad boy. Mom, uh, mom disagrees. <laughs> yes. What for a Thai? Not spicy. For a foreigner, it's spicy. And Adam obviously has built his tolerance over time, so it's not. I can smell it though. Yeah, no, it's it's what I would consider. It's definitely not not spicy. Like it's, okay. it's something, but it's it's um. It's nice. Yeah, it's got a little kick to it, but it's very delicious actually. You should try. So not does Ronnie only have the best pad thai on the island, but also the vibiest toilet. Let's go. <laughs> We're doing a toilet tour now. You have to see this. <laughs> yeah. Things have changed. <laughs> Appreciate the greenness of the shed. And then basically he built an oh, wow. entire garden It's like in an here. oasis in here. Like it's the kind of place where you want to come and hang out for a bit. So yeah, that's why I wanted to show you because I have actually seen one of the signs that people have written that have come here was we loved the jungle toilet. So I thought, let me go and check it out. Light on so you guys can see here, like. Right, so we are officially in the middle of the water flow. There's mum. And basically, guys, the wet season in Koh Chang is between May and October. So it's six months on, six months off pretty much. But even the rainy season can still be okay from what I understand from friends. Like you can still get sun, sunny days and stuff like that. So it's not always raining. All I'm trying to say is that there may not be a waterfall today, but we are at the waterfall. I can't hear anything. So I'm just gonna have to really quickly hike to the top, see if there's a waterfall, and then we're gonna continue with our little road trip. I think I can hear a little trickle of water. Let's go and see what there is. I believe I'm here. 
some birds. I can just about see a little trickle over there and a tiny pool. That's all we have. Super dry. But the cool thing is, there's this path that takes you up to something. I don't know what's up there, so I, I'm not going to go and check it out because we have to keep going. But if you're here, go and check it out. You might find some adventure in these woods. Mom, you look comfortable. Yes, I do. I'm just looking at so, that beach. Where are we right now? A viewpoint? <laughs> Somewhere, some sort of viewpoint. All right, guys, so we are heading to White Sand Beach now, which is one of the more famous uh, beaches on the island. Unfortunately, we can't go to every single beach here today, but this is the viewpoint. As you're sort of heading down, you can basically see this, and I believe that is White Sand Beach down there. And it looks beautiful. Yeah. So I think that's where we're heading next. We found a clean beach. This is actually not far from where you come in on the ferry if you're going southwest around the island. So if you're heading down to sort of the main areas and this is where there's a lot of hotels on the beach, a lot of restaurants, bars, things like that. But I guess the reason that all these hotels, restaurants and bars are here is because actually it's a pretty nice beach. So we're gonna have a look, we're gonna explore. We've heard if you walk all the way to the end of this beach, you can find a little secret spot. So we're gonna find the secret spot, and if we do, we'll share it with you. Good place, nice people, apparently. Not me, I didn't but say that, they did. It super cool and vibey. Yeah? It looks really vibey, but at the same time, it looks a little bit destroyed. But I don't know what the deal is. I think it's still open. All right, so our friend told us that if you turn right, onto White Sand Beach and walk all the way along until it looks like it ends, there's a resort, which is where we are right now. So we're going to stop here very quickly for a bit of a refreshment. Grandma's, Grandma's with, the with, with the child. <laughs> we're having a quick drink here because it started raining a little bit and then we can see the other side of where you're looking to me right now. That side, if you keep walking, this is where this private beach area is that our friend told us about. So we're going to go and check it out. It's pretty nice. It's very quiet. Yeah. Thoughts? There's no one here. Yeah, it's empty, yeah? So, because white sand, right? Yeah. Because of where it's located, right at the end, there's a restaurant. So it seems like that's the end. But if you actually pass through... There's more beach. And there are, there's, there's accommodation, beach. but I think it's closed. And there's no people, there's so... No let's go check it out. <laughs> Have you been having fun? Having and having a hair wash. Yeah. <laughs> you guys been having fun? Yes, we have ice cream at the bar. Oh, oh you really? had ice cream? Yes, yeah, so probably we're going to have the second one. Home sweet home. What have you got for us? All right, we have some Thai delights this evening from our friends down the road. We managed to find a really nice little Thai place that's great value. We've been eating there pretty much every single night. We're ending our day with some local Thai food, but in the comfort of this beautiful apartment that we're staying in. Which, by the way, we're staying in, I mentioned it earlier, Tranquility Bay Residence, which is managed by the same people as Indie Beach. I think they actually have an Instagram, which is like Indie Apartments. Underscore Apartments. Yeah, we're gonna so link we'll, them up below. We'll link them up below. Really beautiful apartment. Mine. Perfect apartment for us. Two bedrooms, nice big balcony, practically Amazing private beach. View. Massive swimming pool downstairs. Huge bedrooms. Nice air conditioning. I love the air conditioning. Coffee TV. machine, big TVs. Everything. Everything. Everything we need. Everything we need. In the kitchen. Yeah. You can cook your food if you want. Mm. Even a dishwasher. Exactly. Even a dishwasher, yeah. And a washing machine. And a washing you machine. don't have to take your what clothes to 
the local, I mean, it's nice to Take support it. them. We got her on the promo as well. Yeah, mother's working for us. High five. You know, guys, by the way, mom got us a video on TikTok at like 70,000 views by eating durian. <laughs> Now we're going to have our dinner. Thank it you for watching. Delicious. Hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, let us know. Have you been to Kochang? What was your favorite location that we visited today? And is there somewhere that you've been in Kochang that we should have checked out, which we didn't? It's been a long day. There's a lot to do. There is a lot to do and not no, that much time huge. to do it. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Like and subscribe.